these scenes of life in the future that you just saw will not only generate massive amount of data, they will also need to be supported by an equally large amount of computing power. This means in the future, our computing system will experience a much higher demand for performance than at present. To support these innovations, we must find newer, more efficient ways of computing. The semiconductor industry has experienced extraordinary generational improvements in transistor density and performance over many decades. However, as we look ahead, continued scaling is getting increasingly difficult and costly. And as scaling increases, power density further compounds the challenge. The industry needs a new technology that can embark on a new multi-generational scaling journey. And we believe the path lies with integrated silicon photonics. When light travels and scatters in non-homogeneous media, it resembles some form of mathematical linear operation. This is how we see things through our eyes. When light is emitted from or scattered off an object, some of it reaches our eyes and eventually forms images on our retina. This process is a form of two-dimensional spatial Fourier transform. At Intelligence, we use light for the ubiquitous linear mathematical operation vector matrix multiplication, or MATMO for short. When light enters our system, it is encoded by an array of optical modulators to form an input optical vector. It then enters a field of programmable optical scattering media, which represents the matrix. After the input optical vector travels through the matrix, the output optical vector naturally represents the result of the MATMO. The most attractive part here is the MATMO itself is passive, meaning no energy is consumed in the process. Moreover, the MATMO is completed within the time that light takes to pass through the matrix, which is only a fraction of a nanosecond. Finally, the energy efficiency and low latency properties are independent of input optical signal frequency, which means optical MATMO could support large throughput. In summary, energy efficiency, low latency, and large throughput are the reasons we believe optical MATMO is the key to continue scaling computing power beyond the MOS law. In 2019, Intelligence demonstrated the world's first integrated optical computer running neural networks for handwritten digits image recognition. At the time, we had about 100 photonic devices in our chip running at about 100 kilohertz. It was an exciting technology breakthrough. However, it was far from realizing the full potential of optical computing. To bring the theoretical superiority of optical MATMO into reality, substantial engineering development is necessary. A critical question is how we integrate a large number of optical and electronic devices together. A commercial-grade optical MATMO engine probably will contain tens of thousands of photonic devices. Our solution is to design our own large-scale integrated silicon photonic chips and electronic chips and then put them together using an advanced packaging method. After two years of hard work and brilliant innovations, we are proud to present our second generation optic computer, PACE, the Photonic Arithmetic Computing Engine. We managed to integrate around 10,000 photonic devices in a single chip, running a system clock of one gigahertz, which provides over one million times the compute power of our previous generation. The core of PACE is an integrated silicon photonic chip and a CMOS microelectronic chip. Flip chip packaged together, the electronic chip contains both the digital and analog circuits. The digital portion consists of the control logic and SRAM. The control logic is responsible for regulating data flow and I.O., while the SRAM is used for an on-chip data storage. The analog portion serves as the bridge between the digital logic and the photonic devices. For each optical MATMO, the input vector values are first extracted from the on-chip SRAM, turned into analog values by the digital to analog converter, and then applied to their corresponding optical modulators through microbumps between the electronic chip and the photonic chip. The optical modulators then attenuate the incoming light accordingly to form the input optical vector. 
The 64x64 64 64 optical matrix is encoded with a similar mechanism. The input optical vector then propagates through the optical matrix and generates the output optical vector. The output optical vector will hit an array of photodetectors, which turns optical intensity into electric current. The electric signals then travel back to the electronic chip through microbumps, pass through transient impedance amplifiers, and then analog to digital converters before returning to the digital domain. In total, thousands of microbumps are used to facilitate data traffic between the electronic chip and the photonic chip. In addition to the 3D packaged photonic and electronic chips, a fiber array is used to connect the laser source. The whole assembly is mounted onto a PCIe-sized PCB board. The peripheral components, such as power supply, system I.O. connectors, are all attached to the PCB board. HACE aims to solve combinatorial problems. Their application includes bioinformatics, traffic scheduling, circuit design, and material discovery. Such problems are typically NP-complete, meaning it is mathematically impossible to solve under polynomial time scale. However, once an NP-complete problem is solved, it is relatively simple to map the solution to another NP-complete problem. One example of such a problem is the max cut problem. Assume we have a collection of vertices. They are connected by some edges in irregular patterns. If we group the vertices into two complementary subsets, there will be some edges between them. The grouping method with the most edges between the two subsets is called the max cut. An equivalent definition is the grouping method with the least edges internal to the two subsets. We chose iterative method to solve the max cut problem. It involves large number of sequential matrix modification. Therefore, the low power and low latency optical MATMO is ideally suited for such computation. Here in the animation, the vertices are labeled by two colors, representing the two subsets. The edges connecting vertices of the same color are internal to one subset. They are labeled with the corresponding color as well. The goal is to minimize the number of colored edges. The iterative process starts with a random color assignment. Many edges are colored. With each iteration, the color assignment of the vertices evolves so that less edges are colored. There is frequent back and forth due to intentionally added noise. Eventually, the color assignment will converge to the max cut. In each iteration, an optical MATMO is performed. Thanks to the ultra-low latency optical MATMO, we are able to perform the task more than 100 times faster than the state-of-the-art GPU. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first time superiority of optical computing is demonstrated. Our technology exploits the fundamental properties of light for high-performance, energy-efficient arithmetic computation and data transfer. Lightelligence is using silicon photonics to address the challenges of data communication and computational density confronting traditional electronic architectures. However, with any new technology, there are major challenges to overcome, often requiring multiple generations of research and development. Our technology development roadmap systematically confronts and addresses these challenges so that we can guide our path to production. PACE is a successful demonstration of high-performance optical arithmetic processing, the culmination of years of development and a major milestone in our technology roadmap. With PACE's demonstrated results, we are now ready to integrate optical computing technology as a modular component of our product roadmap. Our optical interconnect technology can be utilized over a diverse set of transmission media, ranging from fiber optic cables to waveguides integrated at the chip interposer and wafer levels. It can deliver high throughput, low latency, and energy efficient data transfer and networking. These technologies give us a powerful arsenal to deploy products which scale in form factor and performance to attack the needs of accelerators, servers, and data centers. Founded in 2017, Lightelligence is the leading photonic computing company in the world. Our diverse team of scientists, engineers, and coders are transforming cutting-edge research on photonics into real-world solutions, like PACE, that will power the next generation of computing.
Currently, our team is preparing for the launch of Lightelligence's product in 2022. In advance of this release, Lightelligence is continuing to partner up with industry leaders in semiconductor supply chain, cloud computing, finance, autonomous driving to demonstrate the viability and versatility of photonic computing. The emergence of photonic chip and the processing power they provide will not only result in a significant boost to the semiconductor industry, but also lead to magnificent opportunities. This development has the potential to be one of the key technological innovations of our time. When the first electronic computer was invented in 1940s, no one could have imagined the indispensable role it would play in the 21st centuries. Similarly, when the internet was first launched, no one could have predicted its huge influence on the society today. So, what will tomorrow look like in our constantly evolving world? All we know is, with improvements in photonic technology, our computing power will increase by thousands of times. What seems unthinkable and beyond your imagination now may become a reality in not far future. And Lightelligence will be an integral part of that future. We hope you'll stay tuned for our next breakthrough and it will happen sooner than you think.